Okay, so this one's um, between a partnership and the woman writes, we have a sexual situation where he can be in orgasm almost constantly without ejaculation while I'm not aroused. I have a sore spot in the vagina, shame, and find it hard to stop him because he's in orgasm and angry because he's having an enjoyable experience and I'm not. Occasionally I fall into energetic ecstasy, but not often. He says he'd rather not make love at all than cause unnecessary pain, which causes the woman to then feel a scary rejection. Yeah. All right. um, so who do we look at first, the man or the woman? Let's perhaps look at the woman first. She's feeling, firstly, if she doesn't have sex, she feels that she, she feel, feels that she will be rejected. Mm -hmm. So what emotion is she avoiding? A feeling of rejection. Mm -hmm. right? So she needs to go into that. So if he decide, one thing that would help her is he say, if he says, right, we're not having sex because you're in pain, and he just does not have sex with her until she's no longer in pain, then that will cause her to feel sexually rejected, which is one of the emotions she needs to allow herself to feel. Does that make sense? Now, the second question I have though for the man is why are you having sex with a woman who's in pain when you're having sex? See, there must be something else going on. Because if I was having sex with Mary and I could feel her pain, I would stop immediately. You follow me? So you're not obviously feeling her pain in that instance, and you are continuing for some reason. Why is that? There must be something going on inside of you causing you to do that. So fine, you might you are obviously having a good time because you're in orgasm constantly, but my question is, who are you having the relationship with? And what's happening to this woman while you're in this state? And I and I also question that perhaps there may be a connection with some with a spirit perhaps in this entire process, um, because how could you be in orgasm constantly and not notice the feelings of the woman in that state? So the truth is, if Mary feels an emotion while I'm making love to Mary, mm -hmm. I have to stop. I can't go on. Love prevents me from going on. Love prevents me from going on. So if love isn't preventing you from going on, then you need to have a look, the male I mean in this case, needs to have a look at why it's not preventing you from going on. What is it about the act itself that causes you to continue knowing, and I'm assuming that you know, or perhaps you don't, but if you don't, then why aren't you feeling it from your partner? But why would you continue going on if you felt it unless there was a, some other emotion of, and let me say it, selfishness going on inside of yourself with regard to the sex act. And the woman, on the woman's side, let's look at the woman's side. On the woman's side, you need to look very seriously at why you're allowing yourself to have painful sex just for the sake of his pleasure. There's something going on there. So, what I suggest is going on is the male has some anger-based issues with women and the woman has some issues with men with regard to allowing themselves to be hurt or abused by a man, right? Now, I'm not saying he's abusing her, I'm saying she has those issues which attracts the man to have sex with her without consideration of her feelings. So, both need to work through some emotional issues. The question I have though for the male is how can he be in constant orgasm in this situation without there being a third party involved? And I suggest the third party is a spirit involved. Right. Now without talking to you privately or personally about that issue, I can't really offer much more assistance. Um, and I'll be able to show you how to connect to it if we talk privately or personally about it. But do you understand what's going on there? If you're making love to a person, male or female, doesn't matter, if you're making love to a person and you know they're hurting, <coughs> then why are you continuing? 
if you're making love to the person and they're hurting and you don't even know, then how connected are you to them? And if you're being made love to and you're hurting, why aren't you immediately voicing that and withdrawing until you work out why you're hurting? Can you see there's quite a lot of issues in there of self-love and love of the other person? Good idea.